period. Well, Chris, here's a video. How are you doing, folks? Welcome. Um, TW25. Not too sure the year. She's probably mid 80s. We look at the number plate when she gets a bit closer. Belong to Padre Callahan in Abbey Dorney. Just in the, I suppose, in the middle of Kerry. The TW25 range was introduced um, to America first in the mid, the mid to late 70s and they had the bubble cab. The Super Q cab this on this one was introduced in, I think it was 83. And then we went on from that. Of course, there was the TW um, 10, 20, and 30 first. And then they upgraded them and they became the 15, the 25, and the 35. But there's also a TW5 with a Super Q cab, and that's been sold in America only. Um, this is the TW25 here is rated about 145 horsepower. Now, to the best of my knowledge, they all have the same engine. They all more or less have the exact same engine up along. The only thing different is the injectors, the injector pump. And I think once they get up into the 25s and the 35s, you're talking, um, she's 88G lads. You're talking a big oil cooler in front of the tractor. That's the major, major difference. She's pulling a four bottom reversible plow here. I'd say she's a Cleveland and She's just no bother to it. 145 horsepower. They are an absolute savage machine. Anyone that's looking to buy one at the moment, there's an absolutely immaculate TW15 below on Skull in West Cork with a Super Q cab. Gavin McCarthy has it down that side. She was there in March 2022 anyway, so... We'll zoom in a small bit. Of course, TW, what does TW mean, you might ask? I asked enough times. TW means apparently two wheel tractor. These were never meant for the kind of the Irish, the European or the English market. They were kind of mainly meant for um, American market and they were all designed at the start uh, for two to be two wheel drives. These tractors were never ever supposed to be four wheel drives. I think the four wheel drive after was um, a bit of an afterthought for the English and the European and the Irish market. In America they have the FWs. Now we only know of, there was a few of them sold in England, there was the FW15. Oh no, sorry, the FW30 and the FW60 were sold kind of in the UK and they were available in Ireland. I think the FW... The FW30 is rated at about a hundred and uh, sorry, 230 horsepower. FW standing for four wheel tractor and um, TW for two wheel tractor. Of course, the FW, the Ford FW series, wasn't built by Ford at all, they were actually built by Steiger. They're uh, an absolute animal of a tractor again. They were very big in, in the UK in the 80s and the 90s when they had, I suppose, one pass system was introduced or, or big tillers or big cultivators and all that, but they're kind of pulling away from them now, especially with the cost of, the cost of diesel and everything. I think the FWs are driven by a Cummins engine. Now, in the States that I'm aware of, there's, there is a, a larger FW range. If any of my American viewers are watching this, there's, I think there's an FW15, and there might be an FW25. And we have the FW30 here, and there's probably an FW40, maybe 50, and we definitely have the FW60 here as well.
all built again by Steiger. That's a beautiful sound of that tractor. Here's some savage plowing though. I was hoping to be here earlier on. They had um, the, was it an A340 out as well? That was harrowing. All this ground has been prepared to set corn or barley or oats or something like that. For a long time, there was very, very little thought of the TW range. Well, I suppose there probably was up until probably the zero, zero, we said there, thereabouts. But then they became outdated and everything. But what's happening now in a lot of places is they're pulling the TW 25s and the 35s and even, probably even the 15s into, into sheds and they're fully rebuilding them. Like you probably buy a very good TW15 or a TW20, 25 for somewhere about 20, 25 grand. And they've been fully rebuilt and no electrics, no nothing. And they've been put on a cultivator or a tiller or whatever. And that's their job. And they're left on that. They're a cheap, powerful workhorse of a tractor. Like listen to the sound after that. So anyone looking for a 15 with a Super Q cab, head for Skull in West Cork. Gavin McCarthy has one below there. As late as I would say early March 2022. Very, very clean one. Very, very clean altogether. TW15, I think she's rated at about 125 horsepower. There were the TW10. Small bit blocked.
That's kind of it for me, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. And you remember, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a model tractor. So, give a like, give a subscribe. Thank you very much. And thanks again to Audrey Callahan for letting me video him plowing. High jewel power. One. And of course, for anyone that doesn't know it, this is the work that goes into making your loaf for bread or your pint of beer. First of all, there was dung spread in the field. See it there, la? Then it has to be ploughed. And then it has to be harrowed and tilled and seeded and fertilised and sprayed and harvested it's an awful long crop like this will be possibly next September before this is late August early September depending on what kind of summer or spring we get in 2022 to harvest this We're looking up there in the distance at uh, Stax Mountains. Maybe Dorn is up that way. Well, great. It's a video.